On Sunday night, look up to the sky. It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Super Moon! But seriously, on the evening of September 27th, we're in store for a pretty rare astronomical phenomenon what's called a supermoon and a total lunar eclipse happening at the same time. But neither event is that uncommon on their own. A supermoon happens a couple times a year. You see, the moon doesn't orbit the Earth in a perfect circle, which means sometimes it's further away from the Earth and sometimes it's closer. When it gets closer and we have a full moon, it appears bigger in the sky and bingo, you've got yourself a supermoon. As for lunar eclipses, that's when the Earth gets between the sun and the moon, blocking the light for about an hour. They happen around twice a year, but both events happening at once is less common. The combination can occur decades apart. So what does this actually mean? Well, if you ask some people, it heralds the end of the world, but for those people, just about everything heralds the end of the world. So I wouldn't cancel plans to DVR Dancing with the Stars just yet. A supermoon lunar eclipse combo happened back in 1982, and the only thing that heralded was the theatrical release of Mr. Mom a few months later. But it does mean a pretty good light show in the sky for about an hour, if that's a show you'd like to see, and if the weather cooperates, the supermoon eclipse should get started around 7:11 p.m. Central Standard Time. And for coverage of the next supermoon lunar eclipse crossover event, just log on to the Ultranet in 2033 and go to al.com.